hello scorpios how are you guys doing today we're going to jump into your energy to see what's going on for you this is going to be a bonus read so let's see what we have for you let's see what we have you know what let me just change this up because i think we should do a 48 hour because we did a bonus yesterday so okay let's switch it up scorpios this is going to be a 48 hours we're going to dive into a 48 hour read and see what we have for you so if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt but if it doesn't resonate you guys it's just a general reading it's not a personal one but if you're interested in a personal reading hit me up at the scene tarot at gmail.com you guys we do have four packages available so if you're a first timer and you never had a reading with me we have the 45 dollar package for the month of june okay um 45 dollars for 20 minutes okay 45 dollars for 20 minutes so and then we do have the return in beautiful souls we have the 35 dollar package which is for five questions and then we have um the 60 dollar package which is for uh 28 minutes and then we have a 70 dollar package which is for 38 minutes so if you guys are interested go ahead and send me an email at the scene tarot at gmail.com all right so let's see what we have for you when it comes to the next 48 i feel like you have been waiting for this uh, you guys love your 48 hour read so scorpios let's just jump into it and see what the energy is okay scorpio next 48 please divine messages for scorpio in the next 48 hours scorpio in the next 48 scorpio within the next 48 what's the energy here Ooh, healing putting yourself first nurturing yourself for some of you might be taking yourself out um getting your nails done your toes done your hair done this is what I'm seeing here within the next 48. Like this energy is like coming entwined within your spirit. It's like a force of energy here. Just taking care of yourself, going to the spa, getting a massage, you know, just choosing yourself for once. This is what I'm seeing here. Like the sun is shining on you, like you're glowing within this moment as well. So your angels are pushing this. This is what I'm seeing here with your temperance, Saj energy. Like this force of determination is coming through you. We have the Page of Wands. We also have the Four of Swords. Now, this is why you are choosing self because you're going through a lot within the next 48. A lot of you could be around an Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Look at that. I feel like this person affected you mentally within the last 48. There's a lot of things that you're going to be finding out. I'm seeing like there's a lot of things coming to the surface here with this um seven of swords energy yep the truth Ooh. i feel like this person was lying to you and the truth is going to be coming out i feel like this is just a, you know the thing your angels putting every tick everything together your divine working together with the angels here and putting everything in order for you to actually find out about what's going on here and it, with this card here you're going to have to make a decision i'm also seeing like um you're going it's like this is a lot of people a lot of gossip a lot of talk i'm seeing like whoever this is it's like you don't want these to be your friends anyway <laughs> Because it's kind of like shady, the energy that I'm picking up. But it's also going to be uh, fulfillment at the end of it. It's like you're going through all of this, but I'm seeing love. I'm seeing fulfillment. I'm seeing bliss for you within the Ten of Cups here. It's like a shift of energy within this sword. Truth, clarity, breakthrough. Hmm. It's like, it seems like, it's not what it seems right now. That's what I'm, I'm picking up. Tell me more. Aries is coming up. So a lot of you are dealing with an Aries or a Sag, even a Leo energy. This person has been going back and forth with you. This person hasn't been honest, been acting like a child. They made a, a mistake here within the two of wands. 
so let's see this is why they couldn't give you a real shot so some of you this is about love or this is about a family situation where someone didn't choose you someone was shady someone's playing both sides they didn't have your back this is what I'm seeing here like they're in the middle of everything but they're also in the middle but they're going back and forth here causing situations so what you tell them they might tell someone else or the next the other person on the other side so you need to be careful with this energy the same thing as a relationship it's two sides to the story Virgo energy and also Aries energy again with Libra within the judgment so there's a decision that needs to be made in the next 48 that haven't been made yet I feel like it's about karma someone has been really unfair this is what I'm picking up yeah you're being pushed to healing I'm seeing like you're being pushed to heal to let go with an intent of swords energy here Look at this, the Two of Cups energy. Look at this. Wow, that was a, a bonus card. Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Swords energy. Confirm that there is someone else happening here. The mistake, the reason why you're like falling out of place here. It's like you were trying to find out something in the Four of Swords and you kind of did and you had to like back back yourself up away from this connection or this situation. I felt like you needed a break from all of this, like this was too much for you in the Four of Swords. And then as you're backing yourself up and trying to get away from something, this is when the information come towards you. So you're coming back from this clarity from this oh my god i i just you know recharge um and soon as you come back for those of you this is when all the information is going to come towards you and this is another overwhelming um situation that you're going to have to deal with because now you have been brought or been told some kind of information or been shown some kind of information here and now you have to make a decision because it's not this i feel like this is like them giving you a little bit of you know truth be behind the truth if that makes sense and i'm telling you what they want you to hear and then the universe comes in and actually push the through the truth through and give this to you and now you have to make a decision here um this is about your home this is about your 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 happiness this is what i'm seeing here but this person is coming off as an older energy some of you again aries leo or sag energy or leo I'm just seeing like a couple Arcanic cards. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just four, right? But for some reason with this energy here, this person made a huge mistake. They still don't want to choose though between you and this person. Whoever they're going back and forth with, they don't want to choose sides. They don't want to choose either or, or, the, or either. <laughs> they just want to be in the middle. They made a mistake the way they dealt with it, um, the, how they treated you here. You deserve so much better. You're coming up as the Empress energy. I'm also seeing like, you know, again, you, may, you need to make a decision for yourself here. Um, you're quite not ready to make this decision. A lot of you are like, you know who this is because the Three of Swords is in reverse. So you know who this is. This has been going on for a while. You know, you've been fighting to keep this relationship, you know, up. You've been struggling with yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, okay? Struggling with the Ten of Swords in your back. This person stabbed you in the back. It's time to close chapters. This is what I'm hearing. I feel like I'm seeing a conversation between you and this person because some of you are showing up like you're still together with this person here. The Two of Cups energy. Some of you could even be married to this person because you're looking at this person like your person. The one, you know, the one that you're meant to be with. But you guys have been through so much and I feel like I'm seeing you like definitely like closing this chapter, like letting go of this connection. 
moving forward within the nine of wands you can't fight anymore you don't have anything left within you to fight um at least that's how you feel you feel burned out with this nine of wands energy you've been standing guard trying to protect this person trying to protect everything that you guys have built but there is going to be like enough is enough standing up for yourself finally speaking up i feel like angel gabrielle is in play here giving you this force of energy to speak up you do care about this person you do love them they love you too there is the same emotional connection that you have this person has for you you're not feeling anything on your own this person feels the same way okay but you're protecting yourself here because you know that this person is going to hurt you but it's too late for some of you that's what you're saying it's like you're, th you're you have a lot of thoughts in your head mentally you're going insane um and you're trying to hold on and it, this really is um affecting you physically you know your health your body but you're you're really just going all over the place here uh i feel like you're still trying to take care of what you need to take care of with the queen of pentacles you know energy but i'm feeling like you're trying to protect yourself you're still coming off as that person that's nurturing but i'm just feeling like you know you're trying to protect yourself so you could be a little bit manipulative if that's you know coming off if this person approaches you um or try to blame this person because you feel like everything is being taken away from you but the ace of um pentacles is still in the upright so a lot of you build a family with this person okay so this is why the ten of cups is here in the upright a lot of you could be married to this person and have children with this person because you do have the empress here as well okay um let me just go back the empress here virgo energy like this is how this person looks at you too by the way they feel like they have not made a mistake like the one thing they did right was you that's the vibe that i'm getting here because they're looking at you as the empress in the upright but there is something that you guys need to work out okay then we have this card here so what's on the back of the deck so we have the high front in reverse in reverse you guys so this is for some of you a very codependent um decision that is going to be made here because we talked about a decision with the the judgment right and that is in reverse and i feel like there is this decision that is going to be made might just be codependent because of the situation that's happening might just be a little bit embarrassing for the other person and someone is like well you know what you should leave you should do this because it's just right it's just this is what you need to do but the truth is you need to stand up on your own and really fight for what you want um taurus energy for those of you taurus for those of you i'm seeing like see you don't want to leave yeah, it's like you're making preparations to leave to move on but you're scared you're looking behind you you know you have um you have this i'm seeing potential when it comes to this relationship but it's just going to take some time to succeed within the knight of pentacles energy or for this person to show you some kind of stability you also have the devil here that's showing up okay as well and i just feel like within the devil energy you guys why my stuff is coming off already <laughs> within the devil energy here i'm feeling like this person does have the requirements to like really shift things or change because even with the um the five of wands here in reverse this is in the future by the way as i'm pulling it's like they have they want to rebuild they want to solve this situation this conflict this negativity between you and them you know they want to move on from this they don't want to keep going at this um i'm really getting fire signs here you guys this is Capricorn energy, very stubborn energy. You see those horns. And then we have another stubborn energy here, Taurus energy. With a high front. But it's like, you don't want to leave this person. It's like, but this person has some kind of toxic traits about them too. That really stresses you out. So... 
it's like you're talking to a brick wall honestly this energy all right so we're gonna go clarify some cards here really quickly I'm just not very quickly but I'm just trying to find the right deck for you to clarify all right so tell me about this four of swords energy and why this happened for Scorpio wow this just came right out all right so the nine of pentacles this is what I'm seeing so there was a loss here not only with money but with your identity your power I feel like this person kind of stripped you this is what I'm seeing here you have the queen of pentacles in reverse you have the king of swords in reverse as well so you cut off all form of communication for some of you a lot of you were just um this energy you you knew this person for a very long time you've been with this person for a very long time let's see what these two of wands are trying to say oh my gosh i i don't even even i didn't even get a chance to even shuffle okay so you have the high priestess you have the knight of wands in reverse and you have the knight of swords so i feel like this person made this decision based on fear you know this is what i'm getting like they weren't confident within the situation i feel like they were having signs or dreams or um just visions and what they needed to do in this moment because i'm seeing like their emotions are intact when it comes to spirituality and i feel like this could be also how they see you because you're definitely making all the right choices you know when it comes to your life and like this is the direction that you want to take at least this is what i'm seeing for you and this person sees you in that light, but for some reason, this person doesn't feel like they deserve you. Okay, tell me more about this Knight of Cups. What's this offer about in reverse? This Knight of Cups energy, what's this offer about in reverse? Wow, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Two more, please. The Nine of Cups. And then we have, wow. So there was a cycle here, and I also feel like this is a faded union. Also, with the Two of Cups here, then you have the Wheel of the Wheel of Fortune here in the upright. I feel like this is unfinished business. You know, this is not over yet. No matter what you guys are going through, I feel like this person is still holding on to the plans and the future that you guys have. You know, we have the Ten of Cups over there, the Nine of Cups is here. They still feel like they can fulfill these promises to you. Um, this is what they're bringing up here. I feel like um, there's a burnout energy, of course. You know, you have the Nine of Wands here, and then you have the Ten of Wands coming up here. So a lot of you feel like you just want to leave this relationship and never look back. Just move on with your life. This is what you're telling yourself. But there's also something holding you to this connection still. So there's a, a decision that hasn't been made yet. So tell me more about this judgment here yeah it's about this person coming towards you it's about whether or not this person is going to choose to be with you and you only you this is about love this is what i'm seeing tell me more two more please what is this person's energy wow they made a mistake they feel like they feel like it's loaded it's like look too late within this decision here that they have done the damage that they have done is a little bit too late they don't know how to move from here but i'm seeing like they're going to have to end up sacrificing here or trying to but they feel like at this point you have to sacrifice now or you have to prove to them for some reason they're talking about they're trying to blame this on you or put this on you trying to point fingers here not trying to take the responsibility of this relationship and what is occurring here Wow, but I'm seeing that they're making like their way to you when it comes to their heart. But there's something is wrong with this. I feel like this person um, has, yeah, the devil energy. They're coming from a, a horrible childhood or they just haven't been shown things correctly. Because I remember when I was looking on the back of the deck. Oh my God, my mic is right here. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, you guys. Sorry. Um... 
me forget now. Hold on my mic. Because <laughs> um, I was looking on the back of the deck, wasn't we? And was going back... And I saw the devil. Am I tripping? Yeah, I saw the devil energy. And um, this person is showing up like, you know, they can change. Um, but they're coming off as someone that is very toxic. Like they're holding on to a lot of trauma. And they don't know how to get out of it. You know, I'm seeing like a lot of healing is necessary here. This is why your first card is a temperance. Okay, so tell me about this Nine of Wands energy. All right, so this fell in reverse. So we have the Queen of Swords here. We have the Page of Wands, and when we have the Death. So this is your energy, Scorpio. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move on. You have anxiety just thinking about what's coming up next between you and this person. You definitely want to communicate. This is what I'm seeing here. Like you want to communicate. You want to talk to this person. The same energy as we saw earlier. Um, I believe it was over here somewhere. Or was it somewhere around here? Oh, here it is. The Queen of Swords energy. Well, you're definitely putting your feet down. You're just, you just want to be, listen to what they have to say. Be fair because this person do mean a lot to you, but they're stressing you the hell out in the next 48. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. In the next 48, they're stressing you out. Um, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, I, we already know why you are protecting yourself, but we could just clarify. Tell me more. All right, so we have the King of Wands, immaturity, no investment, no stability. You're just always continuing to protect this this person, protect this person from themselves. You feel like you're you're like this motherly energy, like this overbearing motherly energy. You want to be with someone that you don't have to continue in to worry about and to. To show them how to do things the right way. Like this person is not a person that is looking like a leader. Like someone that could be a leader. I feel like they want to. They think they know it all. But they don't have it all in their head. <laughs> this is the problem. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the energy is for you. Alright, you guys. So let's see what we have for the energy believe oh somebody's trying to trick you your belief is down i'm hearing that you need to stay faithful you need to stay with your fate you need to stay with the divine i'm also going to get the divine deck because i feel like this is needed here so tell me about the next 48 energy what's going on that scorpio needs to stay into within the next 48 hours Okay, so wisdom is coming up. So I feel like you're going to be helping someone or going to be transpiring with someone, transferring information. I'm seeing like information is coming to you, like a message is coming to you and you're going to be using your, your thoughts, your wisdom, you know, your growth to be helping this person. intentions play freedom victory wow mystery and rebirth so a lot of you going through transition again this is your energy scorpio rebirth i'm seeing a lot of intuition here I'm seeing that there's going to be victory. The star is actually behind this. So the universe is at play here. But there is a lot of things coming to the surface with this mystery card. And there's a lot of transformation happening. But again with this wisdom beyond your years. So I'm getting a, a lot of energy. Set your intentions. Remember your son. Remember to play pay, uh, playful, uh, playfulness. You know, just... Being free, being happy, remember to live, 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 live. This is what I'm hearing, being free. 
you are not stuck a lot of you feel like you're stuck and you can't do anything but you're actually free this is what i'm hearing for those of you so let me get the divine deck really quickly and see what we have here Divine, what's the message for Scorpio next 48? Scorpio next 48. I'm seeing history here. Hi, Divine of Water. I'm seeing fearless energy. So you're jumping into something new you know no secret here i feel like a lot of things are being shifted within the next 48 especially when it comes to your emotions and love within the high divine of water this is what i and it's like you're opening yourself you're opening your emotions and i feel like you know with the high divine of water telling you it's okay it's okay to do this you know a lot of you were scared i'm hearing that someone is saying i will never open my heart again but you need to remain loving and kind. This is what I'm hearing. Like this is important throughout your journey. I'm seeing visions and dreams from your divine. Like this is a gift. Possibilities are also being opened here. Tell me more. Twin flame is also coming up. So those of you could be dealing with your twin flame connection which is a very difficult situation here, but still possible. It's still possible to end up with your twin flame. Um, especially if they're coming from, you know, the right background, then you have like a more per higher percentage to end up together. But I'm seeing, in, I'm seeing differences here is at play. Like this person might be exploring other things or wanting to attach to other things that you're not interested in i'm seeing like an attachment here as well so codependency is also coming up i may feel like with the hypheront like i was getting this hypheront energy i'm seeing blessed union so this is not over between you and this person talk about unfinished business but i'm seeing like a codependency here it's like someone is trying to make a decision based on what other people are leading them to do because this could be a marriage that you're dealing with and you're going through your trials and tribulations and people are acting like they know what to do in this situation i am seeing virgo taurus and capricorn energy for those of you so this is what you don't see come in and i feel like you need to listen to your intuition because your moon it's also coming up here. doesn't even matter if it's in reverse with this deck because, you know, it's just, it's like a warning for you. Someone wants to come home. For some of you having like difficulties with each other, some of you I'm getting like this person is out of the house. But again, there is this like still, you know, this union togetherness, but there's a lot of conflict here. Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Again, this is what we started with, and this is what we're going to end it with, with this deck. So, again, I'm getting that fire energy sign, okay? We're going to go into the angel deck here, and there's a take responsibility of your actions is also showing up. But let's see what the angels have to say. Thank you, Divine. Next 48 for Scorpio energy. Ooh. Yes, you're going to be happy again. I'm seeing two choices here for you. I'm seeing the yes card and there's two options for you. And I feel like this person has two options too, but they chose wrong. For those of you that are not married to this person, don't worry about it. This person just chose the wrong direction, but they're looking at you as their person. Either way. Okay. And then we have the romance. It's also coming up here. So yes, this is definitely about a new opportunity or I'm hearing about forgiveness. So this could also represent the past. 
between you and this person someone needs to forgive let go don't hold on to this transition because i'm seeing a rebirth here okay ask for help from others you'll be surprised this is what i'm hearing okay you'll be surprised the situation will improve as well. Okay, one more. Communicate clearly. This is what I'm hearing. So there's going to be a possibility that is happening, or uh, I'm saying possibilities, but there's going to be an open curve for you and this person to actually talk. I feel like this is transpired from the angels, from your divine, trying to like put something together here. Give this one more chance, you know. Um, it's up to you too, of course. This is what I'm seeing. It's, it's like you feel burnt out. Both of you do for feel burnt out here you were fighting for this connection at one point and you just feel burnt out at this moment so i think this is what we are going to end it with but i'm going to just pull a energy card for you and then we're going to end it this beautiful reading i mean it was a lot of information here but it's still i think it gives you some kind of clarity right so let's see What's the energy here for Scorpio? What's the energy here for Scorpio? What's the divine message here for Scorpio? What's the divine message here for Scorpio? Wow, choices. Choices. I'm seeing that you're going to have choices and you're going to need to decide, but they're saying going with your intuition. So this is a time for you to really build a connection back with your intuition, with your divine trust yourself. This is what I'm hearing because you're going to need to with these choices that are coming into play for you. You're going to need to be clear minded. This is what I'm hearing. You're going to need to be in a positive light, a positive place for yourself. This is what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel, you guys. All right. If you want a personal reading, go ahead and hit me up at thescenesherit at gmail.com. We have four different offers. And yeah, it's for the month of June. And I will see you guys in your next one. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.